Hey everyone, we're here today from Cairo, Georgia for our Factory Friday, the sixth edition. Um, Denny and I are sitting in the cockpit of our 276 DC. It's one of our latest models. Um, I think it really highlights a lot of the features that we we try to brag about when it comes to safety and ergonomics and comfort. So, absolutely, absolutely. As we have it now, we have it in the full seat position for lounging, cruising, talking, but these also fold all the way up so you have all this space back here for fishing. Right. And, and I think when you're looking at, you know, a dual console boat, one of the first things that comes to my mind is the ability to do fishing, family fun, you know, anything that you really want to try to do on the water it seems like it can kind of do a little bit of all of it. Absolutely, absolutely. When people look and, and hear about a dual console, they don't think about they can fish it. But we can put these seats up now and show the fishability. So okay. with all the seats flipped up, you got all this aft cockpit space to fish, which right. is more than our center console. Yeah. So absolutely fishable. So 35 gallon live well in the back. Um, We've got a flip up ski tow bar. We've got a freshwater shower. Rod holders across the back. We've got ample cup holders, which is definitely important. Um, I think as we move more midship, you can kind of see, you know, this, this boat is equipped with a galley feature. It's gonna get a freshwater sink. We've got a refrigerator installed in this edition. Um, we've got two little storage areas. One of these can be taken out for a wine cooler area. Um, cup holders, storage area underneath. The port seat pod is is really cool in my mind because it kind of serves so many different purposes. If you want to walk them through that, Denny, I think that's. Well, before we get to that, I want to show also the cockpit depth back here. As far as fishability, I mean, look how high up. I'm a six foot person, and look how high up it is. It's safe to fish the boat. So we're so, at an average of 30 inch depth. Absolutely. So on this boat, you're not just on it, you're in it. Right. You know, that's a big safety feature. Yeah. Offshore, inshore, you feel more secure sitting in the boat with these side with the side gunnels and the high three board that we've got. Yeah, so if you'll flip that down. Absolutely this way if you're fishing, you can sit here and watch your rigs too. Right. Trolling. So trolling. So but it has several positions. Start that one over. <laughs> so First locking position, a little recline. The ladies like that. We'll go almost full lounge mode. I like that for snoozing. <laughs> and then we'll go full full bed mode. You know, if you've really had too much sun, you're fully underneath of this hard top. It is massive. I mean, yeah. you've got a ton of shade here. Also, it's like a day bed for kids that may need a nap from being out in the hot sun and playing and all. They got a place to lay down. That back up in place and we'll move forward Denny. So moving forward Denny we've got the two consoles on the side you know the, the traditional dual console layout but we've got this front seated area with the grab rails for offshore cruising. Um, Absolutely. Hey, Armrests. Mark, Mark if you look look how deep it is. Yeah I mean I'm six foot and it's at my shoulder. Definitely so, secure we're, here. We're down inside of it, right? And it's very comfortable. Yeah, I mean, the layout, the, the the cushions in the front, if you wanted to put a third or a fourth person up here and kind of sit upright, and you know, we have an optional table that gets installed right there so that you can have a little beverage area up in the front. Um, you know, this is, this is such a neat area. We have two speakers, four cup holders, two 12 volt chargers, Ample grab handles so you feel secure when you're inside and of the And you know the kids are going to come up here playing on their cell phones and they're going to need to plug up and charge your phones as they're playing. Definitely in today's also, world. Also, we have a filler cushion that will go in the center here and make this whole lounge area filled in. Right. We've moved over into a 320cc. This is one of our flagship models. It's got a little more tradition inside of the company. One of my favorite models just because of the sheer cockpit size that you're getting back here. You know, I love to fish and this thing really can fish. 
absolutely is totally fishable back here. Also, you have lounge seating back here in the back, so when you're running out, people can sit back here and enjoy the ride out with the smooth hole. Right, you don't need the traditional bean bag seats no, back here, not, right? No, no. I mean, no. these. this is a comfortable little bench seat. You know, and we're two adults, but three kids, maybe two smaller adults. Right. But plenty of seat in the back. Definitely. So, so with that folded down, now you've got the true cockpit of a fishing machine, right? We've got all of the stationary rod holders for storage. We've got rod holders for trolling as we come out. We've got the extra deep free board that we talked about before. Um, you know, the same 35 gallon live well. We've also got the bait prep station. I'll let you dive into that a little bit more, Denny. And actually, as far as rod holders, these two right here, you can use either one to troll something in right. your, your prop wash which is a big deal from fishing. Now moving to here, we got all kinds of tackle story. Tackle drawers that pull out, drawers that open up that you can store and still have a freshwater sink back here. So you can wash your hands. And of course, cup holders, cup holders everywhere. <laughs> Only one and a half step to any cup holder in this whole boat. Right. Um, I think, you know, the side rod holder storage underneath the gunnels is pretty key for me because, you know, you're not always fishing. And sometimes you might take a day of fishing and turn it into an afternoon at the sandbar and want to get them off the rod holders in the gunnel and, and get them out of the way. So you can do that with those. And, and some questions that's always asked to me, what are these? That's where you put your down river balls. Gotcha keeps them from rolling around the floor. You don't have to have a five gallon bucket that slides around. So you have storage for it. We thought of everything, fishing. Let's move to the dash. Michael, one thing that we've always worked on is the ergonomics of the dash, okay? And one big thing, my pet peeve, is when you're on the throttles, hand on the steering wheel, hand on the throttles, I got total control of the trim tank. Yeah, our competition, you have to reach up here, you gotta reach over here, you gotta reach over here. So you either have to let go of the steering wheel or the throttles. Right. That's unsafe. Yeah, and it's not gonna allow you to trim and, and optimize your ride. Right, when right. So you got everything right here at your fingertips. And nothing, I mean, you don't have to reach through the steering wheel to hit any switches. All the switches are here, full dash there, overhead. So everything is ergonomically correct. Yeah. and. And I love this dash. I mean, this thing is so clean when you look at it. The black acrylic really pops. The gauges, everything seems seamless. Um, it's got a really sweet sound system in it for the sandbar. So this Absolutely. thing is a head turner. Absolutely. So let's move forward to the front. So moving forward, Danny, we've got the same traditional U-shaped seat. We've got a cooler seat from the console area. Uh, love this feature. The spin around backrests that lock in place, give you a little extra security when you're when Also, you're Michael, that is a rod holder too. So you don't lose the rod holder aspect too for the fishing ability. So you can store these and still have rod holders. Very nice. So one of the more interesting aspects of this bow area is this fishing bolster, right? Leaning up on the side of the boat in case you have to fight something from the bow. You've got a backrest armrest combination when this locks in place as well as well as a removable feature where this becomes a complete rod holder setup so you know, very nice so you know the same sort of sitting seating configuration we've got the the, the removable table leg there um, super deep grab handles I mean this thing feels like you could you could literally sit six or seven people up here. Absolutely, and another function on this that's more than our competition, the way you and I are facing, it's an armrest. Yeah. When we turn this away, it's a backrest. Yeah, it's clever. Everybody else, it's just a backrest or nothing at all. Right. And ours is removable, like I said earlier, and you have rod storage. Right, with rods. Maybe a kite, something like that off kite the bow. Kite fish or something. But look how deep it is. Yeah. I mean, it's way above my shoulders. Right. No, no, you're you're not falling out of this thing. <laughs> no, absolutely not. And kids, when they get on a boat, what do they do? They always run to the front of it. Yeah. 
So they they're gonna their their parents are gonna feel safe that their kids are safe because it's such a deep foul. Right. And and I mean I can't get over how comfortable this front seating area is. I mean with the with the bolsters on the backrest, the armrest at the perfect height. You know I think this is just a perfect entertainment space. And also if you're out just fishing. You can store all these cushions in the console and these backrests, right. and you got a fishing platform out here for casting right. or chasing those cobias. Definitely. So I think that just about wraps it up when it comes to our 320 when we talk about safety, um, comfort, you know, and, and ergonomics with the dash. So as always, safe. <laughs>